on earth is that? Huh. Is it over? Are you okay? Oh, come on! Say something! Are you alright? Can you hear me? Please! Answer me! It's so nice to see you again. You became unconscious after awakening to your power. It's nothing to worry about, though. So just relax. By the way, I see that it was Orpheus that heeded your calling. That power is called a persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. It may take some time to fully comprehend. A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. That being said, your power is still weak. When you use your persona ability, you must channel your inner strength. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, your emotional ties with others. The stronger your social links, the more powerful your persona ability. Please remember that. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. You're awake. Um, how do you feel? Oh, thank goodness you finally came too. How much sleep do you need? It's been a whole week. I was so worried about you. Oh yeah, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong with you. He said you were just exhausted. But you kept sleeping and sleeping. You know how worried I was? Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. 
Even though I was supposed to protect you, I... But your power... It was amazing. You mean the shadows? They're what we're fighting against. And the power you used, we call it Persona. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh... I wanted to tell you that... I'm sort of like you. My dad died in an accident when I was little. My mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, right? To be honest, I already know about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine. It was back in 99. There was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast, but nobody really knows what happened. He was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. So, I'm hoping that if I stick around long enough, I'll find out something. That's why I'm going to Gekukan High, and why I was there when this happened to you. Of course, I panicked and wasn't much help. It was my first time fighting them too. I'm sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I wasn't such a coward. Thanks. But still. Here I am telling you all this the minute you wake up. While I was waiting, I thought to myself. I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So, thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. All right, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you woke up. Take it easy, okay? Be a good patient. And don't hesitate to call the nurse. I'm sure she'll take good care of you. Bye.
Ah, there you are. I'm glad that you're okay. The reason I asked you here is because I needed to talk to you. Please, have a seat. Oh, before that. I believe I mentioned him earlier, but this is Akihiko. How you doing? Okay, let me start off by asking you this. Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? Do you remember the night you came here? You had to have noticed the signs. The street lights went out, nothing was working, there were coffins everywhere. Didn't it feel like you were in a different time? That's the dark hour, a time period hidden between one day and the next. It occurs each night as the clock strikes 12. It'll happen tonight and every night to come. Normal people don't realize it since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. <laughs> but that's not what makes the dark hour so interesting. You saw those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone not in a coffin. It's our job to defeat them. Sounds exciting, huh? Akihiko, why are you always like that? You just got hurt the other day. Now, now. He does his work well. Long story short, we're the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad, C's for short. On paper, we're classified as a school club, but in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the shadows. Mitsuru is the leader. I'm the club advisor. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. Unfortunately, the police can't do anything during the dark hour. Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight the shadows. That's Persona, the power you used the other night. The shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. Which means it's all up to you guys. I'm glad you're quick to understand. What he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. I was afraid you'd say no. Welcome aboard. Thank you so much. I'm really glad. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room assignment. Why don't you just stay here, in your current room? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> holdup? But wasn't that... Oh, never mind. It doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> <laughs>